What's up, y'all? Got a banger from Alpha Central. Let's get straight into it. Did you leave a broke dude for a rich one? Yes. I love rich. Mm, yeah. She's like a money. Runner. She's a track no, star. Okay. I don't know. High maintenance. It depends on how they are. I mean, like, are they high maintenance, them, uh, them food bills be running up. Shots fired. <laughs> big back, big back. <laughs> Oh, yeah. If they're not fucking flaunting it everywhere, then yeah. So it's attractive whenever they're not flaunting the money and all that. Humble men, yes. yes. Humble men are the way to go. Not humble cocky men rich men. Yes. Cocky rich men, I'm a humble your Shut the fuck up. High maintenance is just a front for being highly unlikable. For real. You was kissing those after you know I just kicked them off. Like, that's just disrespectful, and I can't put nothing past you doing that. Okay, but I brushed my teeth, so... <laughs> <laughs> See, the real question is, Colgate or Arm & Hammer? Oh my god. That's what we need to know. I thought I'd heard Stupid. every cheater's excuse before, but... No, but I brush my teeth. It's okay, I brush my teeth. Conspiracy theories that you've heard, like, or seen on the internet that you think... That could be true. That goes on Louis. <laughs> Where's my man cook? <laughs> the girls are loyal. She's been. I mean, she asked, and he said that's what he thought. Good on him, bro. Good on him, bro. Ah, bro. Getting caught in another car. Uh, excuse me, bro. Are they in the car together? I ain't like bro. Hey, my bad. Hey, bro, cover your face right quick. There you go. Yeah, hey, oh, you getting caught cheating on me in the car at 2 in the morning. Okay, goodbye. Why? Oof. What, what do I do? She's a runner, she's a track star. Goodbye. Can I have my jacket back? Goodbye. No, goodbye. Can I have my jacket? Goodbye. Are pants yeah, down? Oh. Me. She was giving it to this man. Big back, big back. Where'd she find you at? I found her on Tinder, bro. Somewhere, somewhere. Damn. She's in the streets, bro. Okay, you, you supposed to be married, bro. I okay, thought you loved me. Okay, goodbye. Funny how she was. Whoa, they're supposed to be married? Bro, she belongs to the streets. You better just let her go. Like Elsa and Frozen, let her go. Escape <laughs> your past can really be deleted. Do we believe that? No. no. I would say to an extent. No. I feel like after about like five years, it don't count no more. 100%. Four or five years. You know 100%. what I'm saying? Like, first of all, I don't like- I love it when a woman tells her bop lord. No. Your past matters just like a man's future matters. Stop it. When men are mad for things that I've done before, before you. you. Oh like, if God. I did not yeah. even meet you, if you weren't even a visual representation right, in my right, life, right. you should not care. That's how I feel. All I'm going to say is- I love it. And it's all it's always the women that have a past that think you shouldn't care about their past. I love it, dude. It's so good. <laughs> no, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. Yeah, I don't. She'd be more Disgusting. willing to call it an Disgusting. Got a hickey on her neck, bruv? Come on. It's the only city in the world where the women run circles on the men without the men having a clue. What I mean by that is there are women out here who've got their house paid for, their yeah. rent paid for, they got their car and they got an allowance and they're using that money to go on dates with their boyfriend while their husband's at work. Friendly PSA, don't go to Dubai. I mean, bro, these women that go to Dubai go out there and be human toilets. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say you wanted your wife to deactivate her social media. I want her to. I currently want her to. You told her to? What? Yeah, but, uh, yeah. She's fighting you on it? I'd say she's a product of what this conversation is about. She has an Instagram. She feels that she can find something that will do better for her. And that's not true because I know I'm a good person. I'm a genuine person. And she's looking for an upgrade. And uh, she won't get one. W would you, would you prefer? She's a runner. She's a track star. Well, give it a buck, dude. If your wife is like really begging to be on IG, end it. Prefer if she was more compliant with you, more submissive to what you're saying. Absolutely. Yeah. Our, our relationship would be tremendously better. Absolutely. Do you think men value respect more or love more from their woman? Men want respect and women want love. Respect. Happy. Well, you said your wife has you blocked on IG. Yeah, she's got me blocked. That's How does that make you? What? Feel insignificant. Why do, you, why, why do you think she did that? So that I can see what she's got going on on her page, what she's promoting on her page. She's taking a bunch of selfies, if she's looking for attention. Wow. Do you think that when women post their self on social media, it's, you know, to get validation elsewhere? 
Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Is there a solution? Is there a, like what, what's the next step? Break up with her. There's no solution, and she's not willing to play and uh, make a team effort to uh, make the, the relationship her, better. Bro. It's a constant battle to find peace, which is all that I want: peace, peace and respect. So, don't know if that'll happen or not. It sounds. It will happen. You need to divorce her, bro, dude. Oh my lord, that dude is simping on a whole other level. Do not be that guy. I know the modern dating scene sucks, but so does getting hurt physically. Have you ever been the victim of a personal injury case? Every year as an image consultant, I meet so many different types of clients, and a lot of them are recovering from injuries or accidents, ranging from car accidents to workplace injuries. And I was extremely surprised to see how many people lost their personal injury cases, which is why I'm here to talk about Morgan and Morgan. America's largest injury law firm. They specialize in a wide variety of personal injury cases, and they have won thousands of big cases. And if you do end up working with them, they will fight for the money you deserve. Just recently, Morgan & Morgan secured verdicts of $12 million in Florida and $26 million in Philly. That's up to 40 times the highest insurance offer. And I'm telling you, your case could be worth millions. And the best part is it's all free unless you win your case. If you have also been a victim of a personal injury or a serious accident, you can visit www.forthepeople.com slash Levi. Found in the description below where you can start your free claim today. I got a fact. How come you didn't tell me you married? What you, you ain't never asked if I was married. Don't so you don't even matter if I was married. That's how you supposed to say out front. On the first date, as soon as I meet you, you say, oh, well, I have a husband. Okay, well, you know And that's now. something you leave so in the secret. What, what's this for? What's this what for? you mean? What it's for? It's trifling. Okay, to be trifling. It's trifling. Okay, she's okay. married. She's a runner. She's a track star. <laughs> this woman is married out here. <laughs> you never asked. Chat. He never asked, bro. It's his fault. He should have asked. Yes, I'm going, but I, I want to make sure I show the rest of the world. You know, stupid. I like you, for real. I want to see you check a resume. I look real bitter right I now. I should be bitter. I, I, I invested two years into you. What you mean? It's your relationship for nothing to find out you married? That's crazy. It's your fault for not understanding the signs and being on game. What signs? I honestly know. What? We're supposed to ask Being on game? Is it? What is that? I haven't seen that. That's a new one for me, bud. Oh, what the? <laughs> what the fuck? Do you remember me? Yeah, I do remember you. Do you remember me? Did um, you here? Uh, oh my god, yeah. That, that. <laughs> no, 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 no. What's going that? What is that? Your, your boyfriend? Oh, nice, nice. That was the day the boyfriend found out she Bruh, neon, bro. <laughs> that kid. R rated term for this test, but we're going to keep it PG 13 and call it the box test. It's a pretty simple test as. Couples take photos, and if the woman in the relationship, this is for heterosexual. It's kind of like the green line test. I get it. Daddy must have been a freaking carpenter, though. Where is that at? Relationships. If her box is pointed towards her man, the box is delivered. However, if That's what the I'm saying. That stuff is wide open spaces. Box is pointed not towards her man, and instead towards the world. That box is still in transit and you don't know where it's going to be delivered. When a couple passes the box test, they will be happy. But when they fail it, the side... Bro, this chick left Jason Momoa and he's failing the green line test. Look at them. He looks like the life has been sucked out of him. Side effects are significant, as you can see. Here's another example. Cole and Vanessa are, are happy. Fail. When yeah, the, the Will Smith, Jada Pinkett Smith, man, that one's bad. When you take a picture and the box is pointed towards the world, that shows that and box. And he's failing the green line test right there, yeah. He's still in transit, and it may not get delivered. No, because you know what? I love this it. guy it's a might great be on analogy, though, chat. What do you think about that? I think it's a great analogy. You never told your ex. Okay, after I left him, I got with his homeboy. Big back, big <sighs> back. They always do. I always do. Uh, why'd you do that? Because he slept with my homegirl. You got a picture of her? Hey, well, the thing is, an eye for an eye makes the world blind. No. I have her blocked. How'd you find that out? He slept with her. Uh, I went through his phone. Did he call them out? No. I just left him silently. So you just left him like, hey, we're yeah. done? And then I slept with her brother. Oh, damn. Wait, her brother and his homeboy? She's a runner, she's a track star. <laughs> this is some next level revenge. The Joker has nothing on this woman. She is evil. That's a whole lot of overtime. That's a whole lot of doing a goodness gracious. Be if you have her. 
You can totally slip me. Gotten slapped since getting. Mm-hmm. Stop it. What? Get some help. I mean, never Passing knew that, that stuff around like Oprah. And you get it, and you get it, and you get it. So, <laughs> this is horrible, bro. Mr. Toozy, you are not the father. Yes! Oops. Told you! Be happy. Oops. Calm down, Mr. Calm down. Big back, big back. <laughs> what is this build? Toozy. Look at like the the beginnings of a starting character on Skyrim. What was that? Calm down. This ain't a stadium, and the child's life is truly at stake now. Yes, Your Honor. Miss Renfro, mm. yes, that's not your child's biological father. That's fine. <laughs> that is fine. I'm okay with that. Do you know who is? Yes, ma'am. Oh. If he wasn't the father, then yes, ma'am, I know. Hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. No, no, no. You asked, I answered. You asked. I answered. Look, little smart mouth. No, 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 hold on. Because you done got on my nerves now. Because you got a smart mouth, but you're not and smart. And a big back. Enough to know when you're lying. Sitting up trying to pin a baby on a man. Hold on, I'm baby. talking now. I'm talking now. Since all you can do is shrug your shoulders, stay silent. Because you were so dramatic about how Mr. Toozy had never done anything. Oh, and you cried, hold on. You cried yourself a river in this courtroom, baby. All the time, never testifying to the whole truth. And that's wrong. Mm. And that's what you need to change in this moment. All that smirking and all that little smart mouth nonsense, you know where it got you? It got you where you don't know definitively who your child's biological know, father is. And if you do know who he is, you set up and wasted everybody no, else's time. No, I didn't time. waste nobody's time. No, 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 yes, time. you did. Yes, no, you did. If I, okay. You can run She's like, it was a 50-50 shot. <laughs> it was either this guy or this guy. They're the only ones that blew cheese in me. All you want, but your jig is up. Yeah, lying to a man. Drake. Good lord, trying to get him on that paternity fraud. That's yeah, brutal, bruv. Absolute brutality, man. I feel bad for these guys. That's why you just gave me. That's why you just gave me busting in these girls, man. Oh. <laughs> what? She moved out in the middle of the night. <laughs> oh my god. And took the kids. Oh. I like, came back from a trip. It's like that laugh therapy. They expect her to pick me up at the airport. <laughs> she said, read your email. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> read your emails? <laughs> we just witnessed. We know what happens when you go with cult leaders, bruv. She's a runner. She's a track star. Never told your ex. That I cheated. You cheated? Yeah. Did he cheat? No. Why you did that? Okay, so I kind of like self-sabotage. Sometimes I think like the guy is doing something and then I do it first. Or do it when I'm thinking that he's doing it. Stupid. Why do a woman do that? Yeah. Oh. I don't know. But I don't do that anymore. I'm good. So, so after you cheated. <laughs> you don't do that anymore. I'm good now. Stop it. Um... For no reason. Did you find out that he wasn't cheating? You knew he wasn't cheating. <laughs> he just wanted to step out. Yeah. Was it worth it? Yeah. It was? Oh, yeah. <laughs> she's a runner. She's a tax All, right. All right, next question. <laughs> do you use a or raw dog, which is I do? It depends. Okay, so I recycle my guys. So I, I still like when I was like seven, from like when I was 17. So with them, yeah, I'm raw dogging. Letting these dudes go straight up bareback. Jake Gyllenhaal and on that. He built a bond, you know, but not anymore. Like, I don't deal with them anymore. Like, I, I'm, I'm stupid. Cool. He called. She belongs to the streets. Bro, the streets are calling and she has answered. Hey, Miss Canada. All right. You brought this case before the court. What's going on? I'm seeking child support and back pay from this man. Okay, just straightforward. Just that's what I like. Just get right into <laughs> it. Straight to the point. How old is the child? The child is now three years old. Three years old. And I have not received any child support in three years. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Let me guess. The child lives with the father. Let's just see where this goes. All right, sir. Is there? Jo a I love Judge Vonda. She always keeps it a straight up buck. 
Because you haven't given her any child support in the past three years? Uh, yes, ma'am, there is. What uh, is that? We've been discussing the, the paternity obligations. Okay. And, uh, under the circumstances, uh, you know, I, I don't think I was the only person having a fling with Rocky at the time oh. that, that, you know, she and I had that time together. And, Excuse uh, me? She's a runner, she's a track star. <laughs> I, Are you implying something? Well, what I'm trying to say is, is mm. that um, um, I understand that you may have been seeing some other people in addition to me, and and the reason that I haven't provided. <coughs> well, those are rumors. I understand First of that. All. I understand that. But, Second but of you all. haven't. I mean, I'm with, sorry, honey, but you look like he was trying to get at this man for a bag. Let's keep it a buck. With my request for DNA test, either, and that's my key. Is is that? If, if I have an obligation, I like to make sure it is my obligation and not the obligation of some other father. He's not implying anything. He's Bro, calling this me man is cooking. Excuse me? Well, those are rumors. Stop it, honey. Psychologist, so please keep me anonymous as I can't break confidentiality clauses. But I have to tell someone. Okay. A patient of mine told me she was sleeping with a married man mm. and the guilt was eating her alive. <sighs> Yeah, she's a okay. runner, she's a track the star. The patient said the man was going to leave his wife for her. Yep. Mm. And she was like, well, I love this guy, but I feel bad. And I'm like a homewrecker. And, and you would feel bad, but you'd be like, oh, my happiness. Your ha like, how do you decide that? Well, dude, you can never get into a relationship with somebody that cheated on their or cheated on their current person to get with you. Because you're next, bro. You're next. If a girl cheats on her man, this happened to me in college. She was cheating on her dude to get with me, and then eventually she's like, you want to get with me? And I was like, no. Do I look stupid? No. I'm not giving you the chance. Later that week. Recreational use only, honey. My husband told me he was leaving me for a woman he's been sleeping with. My husband was having a fling with my patient, and I couldn't tell either of them or anyone because of the confidentiality clauses. Oh. But I need to tell someone and I just need to scream. Oh. <gasps> what the f <laughs> She probably- I love it when a woman tells her bop lore. <laughs> Nothing better. That is a crazy story though, if that's true. What is this about? Is this like Love Island or something like that? Uh-oh, ooh, 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 ooh. He about to be clapping the cheeks. It's gonna sound like a- Auditorium, so much clapping being done. Uh oh, rut row. Your girl's belongs to the streets. She's not yours. It was just your turn, buddy boy. It was just your turn, buddy boy. <laughs> Based off what I posted yesterday, do girls have rosters? 100%. Yes. <laughs> how, how does the girl roster work? The one guy, the girls always have one guy that they're like, if he asked me to be his girlfriend, for sure. And then they've got but that like guy a will never ask you to be his girlfriend because usually he's way out of y'all's league. Couple other ones that yeah, like they're fun. Like mm -hmm. oh yeah, he's really fun. Like we have a lot of fun. So it's like one or two that they have really fun a fun time with. And then they've got probably two or three because or, 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 depends on how pretty the girl is that they just use. They use for Dates, drinks. They food. use for dinner they use for trips mm -hmm. and so so girls have probably about four or five guys on their phone that they make them think that like there's potential for they're the only one yeah i also admit it to having rosters was there a, a point where you were like that so when i started talking to my now boyfriend i was talking to another guy and he like, I didn't want anything serious with him. I just liked the attention. I like. I love it when a woman just tells her Bob Lore nothing better, man. The dinner dates. I like just hanging out with him. And like special. so he was just like, just somebody to hang out with. And then my now boyfriend, he started talking to me. And I think like within a week of talking to him, I dropped the other guy. Modern dating is more like a competition. Bro, this is so brutal. But dude, I had a roster in college, but it's much harder for I a guy to have a roster sword. than a woman. I was at the mall with another dude. One of my boys worked up there, sent me pictures and all that. So I call her phone. She's like, oh, I'm just chilling with my homegirl, da 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 I say less. Sent her some bread, everything. I call an ex of mine, had her come over. I also called my girl, which was at the mall. I say, yo, when you done, slide through the crib. I'm clapping cheeks. Shorty comes to the house while I'm clapping cheeks. I came downstairs in drawers, looked at her while she was 
was on my couch like, what's up? Got some water, went back right upstairs and finished what I was doing. She was never the same after that. I'm pretty sure she turned gay <laughs> and she moved. I scarred that girl for life. <laughs> Sensational. Sensational. Again, we never condone sh That's crazy, but the thing is that girls are hypergamous, so they actually don't mind if you have a roster. I would tell girls I had a roster, and they didn't care. They just wanted to know that they were the main one. Where do you think you're going dressed like this? What you mean? Man, I'm, I, close that door. I'm serious. Close the door. Come on, you tripping right now. She like, a stripper? Yes, you're tripping. Why would you even want to go outside dressed like that? You're married. Dressed like what? Look what you got on. That's not a She's married? What are you talking about? You're my wife. You talking about like, like, like who what? are you trying to impress? Are you serious? There's nothing wrong with what I have on. It's it's a lot wrong with what you got no, on. Like, listen here. Like listen, I don't like, care about you going out, but you need to cover up. Like, you're my wife. You should not oh, be going no, outside yeah. dressed like this. Like, oh, come on, God. we out of town. I know you want to kick it with your. What you mean? I'm not insecure. Yes, what are you talking you about? Are. You go outside with a dang beater on all the time. A beater compared to these little boots. Are you serious? What are you talking about? Like, why are you why are you going outside dressed like this though? That's embarrassing. You're my wife. Slumber party all girls. No, come on, man. I'm not trying to hear that. Come on. You Slumber could... party all girls. What y'all really doing? I picked some else. Like, that's embarrassing. So you don't trust me now? All girls now. You know what's going You don't be... trust me now. This is crazy. No, come on. Maybe we should just, like, have a break or something. Like, I bet. Crazy. I bet. Especially how you dress. Maybe we should have a break. Because, come on. That's not appropriate. Why you in a relationship? She thinks there's nothing. Bro, that is insanity. She's thinking she thinks that's appropriate. This is wild to me, bro. This got to be a skit. There's no way. Maury, my man. Why Linnell might have doubts about being the father. Yes, of course he's going to have doubts because somebody lied to him before. You told me that one, my baby. Where is you slam? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. You know what you told me from through the door. I say a lot of things out of anger. You did something out of anger on yes, Instagram. Maury. You put up a picture of your baby and another guy and intimated he was the father. Yes, I did. I was so angry, Maury. Me and him had words. And after those words, I put a picture up to make him even more angry and hurt him the way he hurt me. No! You still her daddy. Linnell. You still her daddy. Linnell. Oh, what? She didn't want a daddy. Yes, it is. Don't say that. Don't say that. People do crazy things. I feel thi bad for the kid. Like, you, you, you know, some of you guys might feel some empathy or sympathy for those two. I don't feel bad for the two consenting adults. I feel bad for the child. I feel bad because that child really has no shot now. That's what's so crazy to me. You know, I saw, I saw um, uh, from Diary of a CEO, that, po that podcast. It's on YouTube. It's a solid channel, by the way. It talked about what is the biggest key indicator of child abuse in relationships? And I'll let you guys put some things in the chat. Like, what do you think it is? A lot of the, a lot of the guesses are like, you know, alcoholism, substance abuse, you know, age gap or, you know, physical violence, things like that. There's one thing in particular that is 100x the cause, the causation for child abuse in a relationship, and it's a freaking step parent. Isn't that crazy to think? A step parent. And I bet a lot of you guys had a step parent in the house. Let me know, chat. Did any of you have a step parent growing up? Personally, I did multiple, multiple stepdads. Um, didn't face a lot of abuse, but it was just it sucked being in step parentville with my mom and other guys. It just it wasn't cool. I, it's being being around a single mom when you're growing up as a boy is just not it's not fun. You guys are dressed like the Wiggles, you know that, right? Oh my God, they all dressed like the Wiggles. <laughs> Like a Fifty Shades of Sacramento. You guys are all different. Did you purposely dress in, in different colors? I saw my face on the shirt. That was the least concerning part of the entire organization. <laughs> it was really the color coordination is, is what's really impressive. Yellow, red, kind of pinkish, and then and then green. Nice. All single? Kind of. Sort of. Sort of. <laughs> she's a runner. She's a track star. Means. Only in Sacramento or what? Is it, What's that? Is it going on TikTok? It depends on how much of a disaster your lives are. I don't know. You're single. I am. What about you? I'm married, but I'm I'm available for free drinks. <laughs> married, but available for free drinks. You got your fucking minds. 
You know what? It makes total sense that you're the one dressed like a red flag. That actually takes total sense. <laughs> what does this that cook? completely checks out. He's Punting so off your wedding dude, ring dude, for Matt free Rife, drink? His, his stand-up is not that great, but him, him on his feet, his crowd work is impeccable. Husband brings you to see your crush? What? What? Are you out of your mind? Absolutely. My husband said I could have a hall pass. Bro, it's what? like he's having a blast. Honestly, I think this is so disrespectful, especially putting this up on social media. But on top of that, she is being active in her comment section saying that she hopes she stands a chance. Almost as if she gets this video to be viral enough that she will gain the attention of her hall pass. But what is hilarious is that it has actually backfired. And there's a lot of women in her comment section asking if her hubby can be their hall pass. And I don't think she saw that coming because she's not responding to any of those comments. I bet. The fact is, is that she better start appreciating what she has before it's gone. I hope that's wild on his shoulders with that, bro. I would it's never. 26. Are you single? I am single, yes. Why do you think that is? It's all of these girls that go around, they're hard to trust, man. They're sneaky. They know what they're doing. So why do you feel like it's so hard to trust nowadays? Even despite being in relationships, they'll still go around behind their boyfriend's back and they'll do they'll do whatever it is. If they find a guy that's of a higher stature, higher status, more money, they'll do what they need to so do. So wait, did this happen to you before? Were you the boyfriend and then, you know, you got a call? I was not the boyfriend, but I was on the other end of the spectrum. Let's say the other man. So wait, what happened? About a month ago, we were in Vegas, going out, partying, having a good night. And uh, this girl came up to me, came up to our table. She was hitting on not only me, but she was hitting on my boy. And all of a sudden, we were back to the hotel, and uh, we took her to Paris, man. Eiffel Tower. Eiffel Tower, big time. <laughs> we took what her happened? to Paris? <laughs> I love that. And after that, all of a sudden, I hear her on the phone with her boyfriend saying, I miss you, I love you, and I can't wait to see you, I'm safe. I, I couldn't believe it. I could not believe my ears. I'm like, damn. He's dated one too many wow, sneaky women to know. that's unreal. She's a runner, she's a track star. Poor guy, dude. He went on a vacation he did not tell me about. Come to find out, his ex-lover was in attendance. Question is, should I trust him? Question. Yes. You sure that's your man? No, that's not your man, huh? And it, it, and if that is your man, are you sure you're his girl? Because oftentimes, oftentimes there are men, single men that are that you're in a relationship with him. That don't mean he's in a relationship with you. So before you become exclusive to a man, you better make sure that man is exclusive to you. All I'm gonna say is he's here, so I hope he's listening. Oh. What's your story? I want to know your side of the story. Get your the mic. What is so what happened? At that time, in our relationship, we was going through some things. I'm going to start off by saying that first week, her child's father was sick, and she went over there and took care of him. Oh. You leave without value, Didn't you know. Hold on. You made some soup? No, 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 no. Lobster tail. Oh, you know what lobster tail means. Let's hey, get cracked open. Okay. Oh yeah. She thought she could put him on blast. Bro, and that is wild to me. She went over to her ex-husband's house, made him lobster tails, and didn't think that was a. Oh man. No wonder he went and clapped his ex's cheeks. Loki, hush. It's just mom. Hey, go to your place. Go. It's just mom. Relationship. Um, <laughs> not gonna answer that one. You wanna get in there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, are you single in a relationship? They look relationship. very sober. Where? Did you say that? Huh? No, we're not. Y'all aren't together? <laughs> That's what she said. Okay, anyways, let's keep him out. Bye bye. Yo, this guy's gonna make you Snapchat famous. Keep going, keep going. I'm gonna be the victim, but. Uh uh uh. Yeah, you know how it is. Like, you always see these, like, sad ass. You always feel bad for him. Chicks, they say for like six months we're in a relationship and then they say on camera they're not. I, I always feel bad for those guys. It looks like I was one. That's gonna get you some views. That's some real shit, fuck up, boss.
Thank you. All right. Hey, I needed you more than you ever knew. Hey, don't leave yet, bro. That's for him, bro. The man answered right away because he knows what it means. That's for him, bro. She belongs to the streets. If she's not willing to claim you, she's a runner. She's a track star. Loki, go to your place. He hears Cass walking around and stuff out there, and he is glued to her hip. Like, he is Cass's white knight. <laughs> he loves her with everything. She's definitely the favorite. He's a mama's boy to the core, so he's, like, whining and barking and hears her closing door, so he's freaking out. Um, it was absolutely wild to me. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go cop the ebook, The Four Pillars of Personality. Um, but, yeah, man, really do appreciate you guys. I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.